Hey everyone, welcome back to Loopy Studio. I'm here today with a brand new video for you guys. I'm going to be talking all about The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 4, titled Chapter 12, The Siege. Um, so, and I'm joined by my dad, Paul Jose. Thank you for joining me. Hey everybody. So, um, today is, is going to be pretty fun. Sorry this is a little bit late. It's Thanksgiving week. Things are pretty busy. We actually watched it for a third time tonight, so now it's fresh, fresh in our minds, and we're just going to break it down. So before we get into the actual episode, we have a lot of merchandise here. So, a lot of Baby Yoda stuff. So, first thing we have, Baby Yoda. This is more of a doll, I would say. Would you agree? Yeah, it's a, it's a doll. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a little Baby Yoda Squishmallow. We have a big Baby Yoda Squishmallow. We have a little Chewbacca. And we have uh, two pop figures. We have Mandalorian pop figure. And we have Baby Yoda pop figure. So we have a lot of cool merchandise here. And yeah. So that's for the merchandise. So what do you think of this episode overall? Loved it. Favorite of the season. You? Mm -hmm. I would say so too. I definitely understood it while watching it uh, three times in a row. I thought it was, um, you know, I thought it was kind of, I thought it was one of those side stories that kind of progressed the plot, you know. I It brought me to some season one vibes more because, you know, it was kind of like a like a throwback a little bit to, like, sure. his, like, the people who he was working with and um, the villain, the, the reveal at the end was good, was a good throwback. And I'm excited to see what they do. Okay, so to progress. So what do you think, what did you think of, like, Mando and, like, reconnecting with his allies and going on this big journey together? So the, so the idea is here is Mando's ship is not going to make it uh, all the way uh, to their destination. Uh, so they have to do a pit stop to get repairs, and it so happens that they're going to go back to where they were in Season 1 to meet with their friends. And so, yeah, I think it was cool to see them all together again. Um, a lot is that town has been cleaned up, that planet has been cleaned up, except for one location, which is an Empire base. And uh, so, since Mando is there getting his ship repaired, they decided to go after and wipe out that base so the planet can be cleaned up for good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was, it had a, um, it was, uh, it was a battle and it had a lot of, um, had a lot of stuff going on. So, Moving on, we, we did get some more uh, cute um, Baby Yoda scenes. I feel like this season we're really, we're getting a lot of Baby Yoda cute moments. Would you agree? Yeah, I want mm -hmm. some blue cookies. So, he's in school for mm -hmm. fun, and he wants some blue cookies, and he uses the force to get the blue cookies, and he's happy. Wish I could do that. That'd be really cool. Grab your food. Well, no. I guard, I guard it really good. Anyways, so yeah, we got a cute little baby Yoda moment in school, and um, aside, and he had this little blue cookies thing. Um, besides that, not much happened with him, but um, it definitely seems to be like you know, baby Yoda is kind of like off on his own, considering you know the season ha is like a lot more like, well, we don't know what's gonna happen with the with, we don't know what's gonna happen with baby Yoda because we know that you know he'll uh, Mando will have to give him will have to give him back. So, maybe. Maybe. But that's just kind of like a, the biggest question right now that I have. What will happen with Baby Yoda? Because he's the most beloved character on the internet right now, I would say. Sure. And and we understand why Moff Gideon is after him, right? So mm -hmm. that reveal of the lab, the experimental lab in the Empire base, and uh, that they were using the blood from Baby Yoda when he was uh, returned in Season 1, uh, to do some sort of crazy experiments, and the experiments weren't going well. And so now we understand why uh, Moff Gideon wants Baby Yoda. And so mm -hmm. Mando's going to do everything he possibly can to protect them. So yeah, he's, he's using Baby Yoda's blood to try to make some sort of stormtrooper, is what we're inter interpreting. So, um, so the last question I have for you is, so what do you think... What do you think of Moff Gideon as a villain? Yeah, he's awesome. I love the last scene, and uh, Moff Gideon had a black cape on. He really looked like Darth Vader, and uh, he looked evil, 
and he's standing in front of those dark troopers, um, and that that was a pretty cool scene. It made you it made you feel like Moff Gideon was uh, a legit villain. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I thought it was a good ending. I thought now we know that we have a true villain. We don't have to think is he good or is he bad. Because that's the worst type of villain you can get, you know. Well, it's pretty obvious at the end of season one that he was a bad dude. Mm-hmm. But now he's raised the level of, of uh, villainy just that uh, he is after Baby Yoda and desiring to build an army. And uh, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So a side note. So the ending, close to the ending scene where the officer is talking to the, to the, um, to the girl. I thought that, that was a pretty... I don't know. I don't think that it was one of those scenes that, like, I don't think it was needed, but I thought it was interesting to see. Would you agree? Uh, which scene was that? The second to last second one last with one. the officer from the Republic talking mm-hmm. to Kara uh, mm-hmm. about her, where she's from. She's mm-hmm. from Alderaan, and Alderaan was destroyed. So uh, in episode four, uh, this movie, New Hope, and uh, so she had lost her um, family and friends. Mm-hmm. And so that maybe gives a background to why she is the way she is. I think it's pretty cool. I think it'll be interesting to see his allies return. That can be something that you know can be explored for for her because if they're like they're really building up some good storylines, like Moff Gideon, um, like Ahsoka, Ahsoka, which we'll get to in a second, uh, and like uh, Cara, Cara Dune. And, and like Bo-Katan. so they're really and like Mando and Baby Yoda, so they're really building up these good storylines. Would you agree? Yes, absolutely. And we're halfway through the season now. We have uh, four, four, episodes four more episodes, yeah. so it'll be interesting. So finally, Ahsoka. We're assuming this will be in the next episode because it's how the Jedi. So Bo-Katan is we when Bo-Katan said last episode she referenced Ahsoka, so we're assuming she's going to be in this episode. Yep. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see. Um, and I'm really hoping that, you know, they really, because Ahsoka is such, like, a loved character in Star Wars universe, well, Clone Wars, she's really popular in, um, so it'll be really interesting to see how she gets inserted into the series, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about, I'm excited about seeing her, so, I'm excited about a Jedi, um, Mm -hmm. and, you know, Baby Yoda being Force-sensitive, obviously, probably will become a Jedi, Mm -hmm. but it's, it'll be neat to see her, um... You know, first Jedi on the show, right? Yeah. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, be cool. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, um, any closing thoughts you want to say? I give it an A plus. What do you think? I would say I would give it an A. Okay. Um, it's I think I I haven't gotten to when in every episode, in every episode of every show, I just give it an A unless it's like really, really, really good. And this was really good, but I still like it hasn't reached like that A plus point okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just I loved. I loved Moff Moff Gideon's motivations now. I understand Mm -hmm. it, and it provides, from a story arc standpoint, it provides, um, I don't know, some excitement. Anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching the studio. Stay tuned for more videos to come, and bye. Bye.